Jenny and I are up at Wallace Lake near Salmon, Idaho. This is pretty close to the Montana border. And the reason that we're at this lake is because of the multiple Bigfoot sightings here. It's really a long dirt road, rough dirt road ride to get in here. People do camp here. And uh, the last time we were here, there were several people camping, but today it's just us. We stopped for a break a couple of miles from here and got out, out of the vehicle and walked around and Jenny and I both could hear what sounded like people in the distance talking and laughing. And I just thought, oh, and I even said it to Jenny. I was like, I hear voices. We must be close to the lake. You know, we're hearing people down at the lake. <laughs> well, the lake's like two miles away from where it happened. And we get to the lake and there's nobody here. Yeah, storm rolled in last night. And it looks like we're the only ones crazy enough to come on top of this mountain. This bigfooting hobby of ours has got me to do stuff I normally wouldn't do. I would never drive to the top of a mountain on a day that I know that there's a storm. And we did it. But right now we're uh, circling the lake looking for signs of Bigfoot evidence. Do you hear the birds going crazy up there? Heard some squawking up ahead. Did you hear that? I just heard you gasp. Why is there something up there? Yeah, a big noise. What did you hear? Whatever was digging right there, we probably scared it into the forest right here. This is weird, but I, I know black bears especially are omnivores. And I have this gut feeling that Bigfoot's also an omnivore, especially because of what people have actually witnessed it eating on certain occasions. So if a bear's willing to dig near the shore of a lake for something that smells near the lake, would a Bigfoot do the same thing? Would a Bigfoot be willing to, to dig for grubs or... Here's another dig spot. Oh no. That's a moose track, Jen. Oh. 
that this moose track doesn't explain the digging we just found no oh yeah i heard i've heard a lot of people seem uh say they've seen moose around here i've yet to see one here though Across the lake from us, Jenny spotted an X. There it is. Not yet. Oh, there's some more digging. No. Oh, just a lot of animal movement through here. I just heard a vocalization off that way. It sounded almost like a mouth pop. There's a lot of animals that do do a mouth pop from uh, um, black bears, a deer and an elk will sometimes make a noise like a mouth pop, and then. Uh, Bigfoot are also known for mouth popping. When I say a mouth pop, I usually don't do these unsolicited, but since I heard one, I'm talking something like. I think bears do mouth pops by going. Thing is, is usually when a black bear is vocalizing with mouth pops, it's usually a mother communicating with the cubs. We've reached a boulders field on the opposite side of the lake that we started on. Can't imagine we'll find much evidence in a boulder field. certain times of the year the grizzlies will come up to these boulder fields at high elevations like we are now and they turn over they eat moths yeah underneath the rocks they turn them and eat them and it doesn't sound seem like there would be that much calories associated with it but um apparently there is apparently they can eat enough in the day to get anywhere from 15,000 to 20,000 calories Yeah, Casey Anderson hiked up in Yellowstone to some of these boulder fields that the grizzlies go up to and, and eat the moths. Look, the sun's about ready to go down, Jen. Yeah. The sun's going over the mountain right there. Did you hear that thump? Uh uh. I didn't hear that. No eagles up here fishing today. Not today. Did you see something? No. A boulder came down. It's 
I heard a thump earlier. Maybe it's the boulder shifting, but there has to be. Yeah, something. maybe something walked across the boulders, getting away from us. Yeah. Oh, mushroom. Something nibbled it. Yeah, and something has nibbled on it. There's a squirrel cache here too. Uh -huh. During the hard times of winter, bears that come out to eat or fatten up just before they uh, hibernate, they'll eat the squirrel caches. Yep, they'll feed. That's why squirrels make a lot of caches because they know the bears and badgers and stuff are gonna loot some of them. There's one thing I learned this year that I didn't know that Squirrels will have caches of edible mushrooms in trees. So if you find a cache of mushrooms off of a branch, they're edible um, uh, because the squirrels put them there. Yeah. That's something brand new I learned this year too. I didn't know they made caches of mushrooms. And uh, so your ch if you find a, a cache of mushrooms from a squirrel, your chances of being able to eat most of them is pretty good. Well, you have, actually the person who I learned that from was watching the squirrel put them there. It wasn't just... They chopped down the tree to get to them yep, too. Yep. And it upset the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was an expert survivalist that showed us that one. Just beautiful up here. Yeah, it is. I'm so happy when people see Bigfoot in a beautiful place. <laughs> but I always ask, could you please see him in uh, more convenient places to get to? <laughs> yeah, Jenny and I left base camp this morning and it took us until uh, about 4 p.m. To, to get here from where our base camp is in the valley. Our base camp's between um, Salmon, Idaho and North uh, Fork, Idaho. That's a good spot to look for tracks. Yeah, this this lake's just a little smaller than Tony's girl. Zoom up on that rock stack that's up there. Here, time. you do it. You should know where it's at. Um, you zoom with this button right here. This one? Uh-huh. This is and a new camera. And it's filming. I can't. see a big landmark in the viewfinder these viewfinders are tiny you guys not only that but okay right there that's weird that's kind of unnatural okay and it's really quite far up there it looks like a purposely made rock stack doesn't it yeah, and those rocks are pretty big. Sorry, guys. I'm not very good at holding steady. See how high it is? <laughs> yeah, it's up on those cliffs. Of yeah, we'll be able to see it better when we get home. Yep, on the monitor. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'm going to look around these banks for footprints see where something scraped right there no telling what that was but we're hoping that the 
know, Bigfoot needs water if he comes down and steps in a soft location. Hopefully he leaves a trap for us. There's a little cave thingy up there that I noticed. That I want to zoom in on. Something as big around as a bear. I, it looks like I could squeeze into there if I needed to. I just heard voices behind us. Look, here's a elderberry bush. Oh yeah. It's been chewed back by the animals. Once the fruits are gone, they nib they nibble them back. See that the, the animals like prune them. Oh yeah, there is one behind the tree right up there too. Look how fast the clouds are moving up here. You could do a time lapse at full speed. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to scan the ridge tops for movement. Bigfoot's known as a ridge walker. There's some here and they're cu curious. Maybe we could get lucky and catch them taking a peek at us. You should go back and show them the boulder field. They'll look bigger on the camera. Yeah, the boulder filled that we've crossed is right here. There's only twigs right here. And up a little farther. You heard twigs snapping. And we're on a boulder filled. Yeah, but see, sometimes there's twigs. Maybe there's an animal right there. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of work getting across those boulders. Yeah, wait till you see this. This reminds me of uh, places that are west of Lake Tahoe. They have these types of granite boulders and stuff. I'm about ready to shed one of my layers. I'm getting warm. That sounded like a frog. I thought it was too cold for amphibians. <laughs> Remember when we saw the salamander uh, next to the snow? Yeah. At the beginning of the year? Yep, you, you, you think you would never see an amphibian being active around snow, but 
We did. Okay. Wanna go up around that? Go up this way. Mm -hmm. This scat looks like it could be a bear that That's ate right. something that gave it the runs. We know that there's black bear and grizzly bears here and Jenny and I have come face to face with the black bear in this area before. He come running out of a tree line straight at us which was quite unnerving but it was obvious right away that he didn't know we were there until about the same time as we knew he was when he come charging out because as soon as he assessed the situation and saw us he looked surprised uh-huh and then he stopped in his tracks turned parallel and ran to the tree line which was a big relief for me because he was hauling he was running full out when he come out of those trees and if he had kept running towards us i doubt i could have drawn my mace and nailed him before he was on me Big. yeah um he was he was the perfect stereotype that i have of a black bear he was uh you know black black color he had a a big white spot on his chest and his muzzle was cream colored that's like a stereotypical black bear of course black bears aren't always black um i uh filmed and took photos of one this summer that was uh, like sim cinnamon color, except for his front legs and his face was black, but like the back of his head had the cinnamon. But they come in all colors, blonde. The species is just black bear, but they'll be, they'll be blonde, cinnamon, red, black. Black's more common. Or they'll be a weird mixture of all of it. Mm -hmm. They look all nappy. We saw this from the other side of the lake, so wanted to come up and check it out and see if it was squatchy. I really don't make a big deal out of structures because a lot of people think they're Bigfoot related if I'm in a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. I will uh, take a look at them and see if they're like purposely made. I mean, you guys be the judge. This tree does not look like it grew here. That one grew there and fell over. Or was pushed over. Makes you wonder if the Bigfoot is claiming the opposite side of the lake from where people camp. <laughs> yeah, we're on the complete opposite. The other side of the There's lake is where everybody camps. There's one right behind it that looks like it, too. Huh. I'm not sure which one I saw. Oh, and there's another one. There's three and a grizzly. All together. I think that's the one I saw from over there. Yeah, I think the creature's smart enough to say, you know, hey, they, they're kind of built like us. Shoulders, walk. Maybe they understand us. I'm going to mark this and tell them not to come over here. This is mine. This is the X that um, we filmed from the other side of the lake. Because all this is territorial marker. Don't come over here. And of course we're in a spot where people have seen Bigfoot on several occasions. Unrelated witnesses, different years. Well, three right together is pretty. Yeah, this is different. This is pretty cool. Doesn't scream that it's it's not a screaming evidence of Bigfoot, but they're here, and Bigfoot was saw here.
Hey, buddy. <laughs> they're so friendly and and curious. It's so strange how close they'll come in just to take a look at you. Aww. Wonder if he's been fed before. He seems really friendly to us. So cool. So cool when you're in a remote area and the wildlife is friendly towards you. <laughs> Beats the hell out of a bear chewing on your leg. <laughs> Look, there's a bigger one right here. Little couple. Maybe that was the female. Yeah, the other one's bigger and has more bold colors. Yeah, we circled the entire Wallace Lake pretty cool that we were the only ones up here on the opposite side of the lake where people can can camp we saw what looks like structures um, some bear evidence some moose evidence take the structures for whatever you want I don't think it Screams Bigfoot evidence, but it's in a Bigfoot sighting hot spot on the opposite side of the lake that people use so If Bigfoot does Use this area. It may be a way to say hey, that's your side. This is my side Whatever. All right. Well, we'll keep looking for Bigfoot evidence. If we see anything of interest We'll put it at the end of this video Keep on watching. We're gonna keep on squatching